So Aston Optometry is involved with the games in two ways. Firstly, by providing the ophthalmic equipment, which will kit out the optician practices. And second, with the staff who are volunteering to run those clinics. So a polyclinic is a collection of different disciplines, pharmacy, optometry, medicine, dentistry, all coming together to support a group of patients. The Games chose Aston University as its partner for the polyclinics because we have the largest optometry school in the UK. We have a wealth of experience, equipment, and that really goes to support the Games. So we are really interested to see what sort of eye conditions we'll encounter during the Games. We know that a lot of the countries are from regions where access to eye care is not as widespread as we see in the UK. We may see some conditions that we don't normally see in the United Kingdom. And, and also some of these countries are very hot countries or they're from a very long way away, Australia, Canada, New Zealand, etc. So even the plane flight over to the UK may lead to conditions such as dry eye. So we're prepared to support all of our patients that we'll see during the games. There are a whole range of signs and symptoms associated with, an eye, with eye injury. And that all depends upon the nature of the injury and the sport um, within which that took place. So we think of boxing, for example, and we've all seen athletes where they've had cuts on their, on their face. This is an area called the adnexa. So again, we would see that if a patient presented. We also may see some uh, symptoms where the patient sees hazy vision, and that be, could be due to swelling at the front of the eye, at the cornea, that's the transparent part of the cornea at the front of the eye. And again, that can lead to um, halos around lights. And then perhaps more, widely known are flashing lights and floaters. So most people will experience floaters at some point in their life. But if there's a sudden onset of floaters, that can be quite uh, a significant sign of a retinal tear or a retinal detachment. And again, that can occur in contact sports such as rugby or boxing. So we'll be looking at all of those and again, supporting the athlete should we encounter anyone with those signs and symptoms. So we as optometrists and dispensing opticians within the polyclinics are really looking forward to supporting those athletes so they can perform to their best of their ability.